Okay, hear me out. I think split pea soup gets a bad rap. Granted, that's probably because it looks pretty gross. <laughs> it looks like squishy baby food, but it tastes really, really good. Especially when, <laughs> ignore that, that's my dog. <laughs> especially when you put in a ham bone. Mm. But the cool thing is you can totally make this vegetarian or vegan by leaving out the pork. You know, with fall coming up, I think this is another soup that you should try. Give it a try, you might like it. It's definitely a lot better than the canned version. And sure, it doesn't look that appetizing, but I think you'll like it. When I think of split pea soup, I think of that scene in, is it The Rescuers or The Rescuers Down Under? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where the, I think it's a grasshopper, is making the, the pea soup for the mice? Or am I just imagining things? Anyway, let's go make some slow cooker split pea soup. Okay, so to start, I have my slow cooker and I add in onions, celery, carrots, you know, the classic trio, and then garlic. Now here is the pork bone that we had saved in the freezer from a pork shoulder. We just cut that out and saved it for a later date and you just put that right in there. It gives the soup a lot of really good flavor. Here are my soaked, washed uh, split peas. I didn't soak them very long at all. I just basically rinsed them and tried to pick out any you know, sometimes they have little rocks in those bags. So here's some black pepper, some thyme, <laughs> salt, and here's some homemade chicken broth that was also in our freezer. You could just use canned broth or stock of any kind that you like but this is what I had and it will look kind of funny because it was not all the way thawed but I was <laughs> I was not waiting around for that to thaw all the way so I just dumped it in like that and I added a little bit more water I just wanted enough so that everything was fully submerged put the lid on it I set it on low for eight hours of course I have to do a dance. Now here I am checking on it. I think this was about six hours in and you can see that everything has started to break down really nicely and of course it has, oh look, see there's the bone and any bits of meat on it that were left are just falling right off of it and meshing into the soup and yes it looks mushy those are the split peas but I'm telling you it's so tasty I have had this without the ham bone <laughs> look who wants them <laughs> like I was saying I have had this without the ham bone and it's still very good the ham bone just adds so much of that fatty, meaty flavor that I prefer to put it in. You can just buy ham hocks at the store that are ready to be used for this. You don't need to buy a whole shoulder and cut out the bone. They have them in the grocery store ready for you. But again, if you don't eat meat, you can totally leave this out. I like the vegan version just as much. And here I am. You can see how that meat has just fallen right off. I was trying to get any of the bones out of there and I just wanted to show you how I didn't blend it at all. It just gets creamy like this all on its own. And you can serve it up so many ways. This time I decided to serve it topped with some sriracha, some cilantro, 
and some seeds. These are actually sunflower seeds. Uh, it's a fun little different way to eat it, but of course you could top it with any herbs that you like. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.